Okay, so it's number two, x plus 1 squared over 16 plus y minus 3 squared over 4. Just looking at this, can somebody tell us, is this going to be a horizontal or a vertical ellipse? This one's going to be horizontal. How do we know that? We know that because the 16 is under the x. That's the bigger a value or the bigger number in the denominator. So we're going to say the center here, much like in our circles, negative 1, 3. So I go over to my graph. I'm going to go ahead and plot my center. Negative 1, 3. I'm then going to go ahead and find my vertices. So my vertices here, we know that a squared in this case is equal to 16. So a is going to be 4. Now because it's horizontal, from this point I'm going to count right 4. I'm going to count left 4. And there's my vertices. Now those points are going to be the points 3, 3 and the point negative 5, 3. My co-vertices, we know that b squared is going to be equal to 4 in this case, so b is going to be equal to 2. So again, from my center point, I'm going to go up 2 and down 2. So those points would be the points uh, 1 or negative 1, 1 and the point negative 1 looks like to me 5. We're then going to go ahead and find the foci. The foci we know a squared minus b squared equals c squared. In this case, a squared is 16, b squared is 4, so c squared is going to be equal to 12, which makes c the square root of 12. If we put the square root of 12 into our calculator, we get approximately 3.46. So you're just going to kind of guesstimate on your graph where that would be. So one, two, three, so we're right in this range. You see it's pretty close to the to the vertices there. I'll go ahead and sketch in my my ellipse. Now those points for my foci, just so that I'm listing the exact value uh, my x value is going to be negative 1 plus or minus radical 12. And we know that the y value, we're going up uh, 3. So those would be, that'd be the easiest way to write your foci points.